experience that you experienced? Mm -hmm. Um, well, the, the first unit that I brought Arts Infusion in was when we started learning about cells um, in science. And so, you know, there's a lot of big words, a lot of complicated functions and things, you know, that, that happen in a cell. And so um, every single day that we came into that classroom, like as they walked in the door, I handed them a blank sheet of paper. And there was a, a little cup of crayons on their desk, you know, and it's, it's little things like that that are just joyful when you're in fifth grade. Um, and so my instruction was literally all drawn. So I would say, you know, like, draw a circle. And, um, and you know, everyone's circle looks different, and then that allows them to understand, too, you know, if I say, well, that's the, that is the cell membrane. Like, if we, if we want to put cell parts into the cell, do you think it's going to go inside or outside of the circle? And that's something that like is very tangible, and it's an—I mean—it's an artistic decision, but that that instantly creates that understanding that if without art, you would never have known. And then even just the act of every day drawing, okay, well, I know the we're going to draw the mitochondria. It looks like a jelly bean with squiggly lines, and then all of a sudden they have a, a visual to the word mitochondria, and. I had kids, I mean, they can spell that in their sleep, you know, and they know exactly what a mitochondria does because so many days they had to draw the jelly bean with the squiggly lines. And it's just that added element of making something more memorable, something stand out on a page is what really sells it to them. And so I had, um, and, and so every day, you know, we would just draw this and, and could add in functions and, and all of a sudden it was easier to remember that this little funny shaped thing does this function and is called this as opposed to just trying to recall okay a mitochondria let's see I think M sounds like this and, and trying to come up with other ways just visually made it so much easier and their their test that first unit test that I had um, I taught the entire unit through art I had them draw they made posters every day and I hung them up all around the wall but for their unit assessment I still gave them the standard benchmark prep, multiple choice, and open response questions, though they had never seen it throughout the entire unit. And the scores on that test were off the charts. I had over 80% of my students get a, a A or a B, which I had never had before. And I had not given them a single multiple choice that entire unit, not a single open response that entire unit. Um, and it was just really cool to see that the arts infusion is really infusing, like making it part of their soul then instead of just their mind, like getting them to use every part of them um, because then they attach feelings and emotions when you draw, when you're in, when you're in creativity, then that, that helps to activate other parts of you. And so then all of a sudden that memory is so much deeper. And on that test, even though it was a paper pencil test, um, I didn't have them draw anything, they knew it inside and out because they had drawn it. Um, and then even when we got to the benchmark, um, they had a they had an essay question on the uh, benchmark is our end of state exam. They had a question on cells, and I had so many kids raise their hand and, and say, like, "This like why why are they give us such easy questions?" Or look, they left out this part. Why don't they include this? They're missing this part. And I just had to laugh to myself, and I said, "Okay, well, why don't you draw it in?" And they said, "I will." And you know, like the question wasn't even about any of that it was about cell functions but they felt the need to complete the picture and then give more information and it was just a and I know that if I hadn't if they hadn't done that artistically it would have just been a struggle of trying to recall oh, what's the difference between a mitochondria and a chloroplast you know and these big words but all of a sudden it created a context that they were drawing from it, as opposed to just words floating in their heads and that context made all the difference in the world. Um, tests, not just in the classroom, I mean in the classroom there was the joy factor, they wanted to draw, they got to see their creations all around the room. It was colorful, it was beautiful, um, and that's a that's an in-the-moment thing that kids see. I mean they know, wow I created something beautiful, wow that's really complicated but I understand it and I can draw it for you, but then on a completely separate level like as a teacher I know even though you're enjoying yourself right now, I know that you are learning way more than you would have if I just handed you a textbook. And that's beautiful when it's a win-win 